Let's do our warm ups and just a gentle practice today. So come into mountain pose, feet hip width apart, toes straight ahead, ankles, knees, hips, shoulders lined up, sitting bones toward the floor, core activated. That means ribs toward your spine and up. Feel the lengthening through your whole spine, shoulders back and down. Spread your toes, reach the head up toward the ceiling and breathe. Let the belly move as you inhale and as you exhale, drawing in energy and awareness, exhaling stress and tension. And just focus on what you need today in your yoga frame of reference. And then inhaling, bring your arms to shoulder level, stretch out through your fingertips. Exhale, hands to your heart, stretch out to the front, keep your shoulders down. And then exhale the hands behind you. Just clasp the fingers gently together and press them in. Lift your heart, stretch your head back, spread your toes out, drop your shoulders, keep breathing, feel the back bend. And then on an exhalation, pivot on over at your hips, bring your hands up and your head down. Lift your sitting bones, stretch the back of your leg as much as you like. Move your chin around. Release any tension in your neck. And then knees bent and slowly work your way back up and lift your heart. Stretch your head away and drop your shoulders, lifting your heart. Feel your body stretching into that back bend. And then inhale upright, release your arms, and just take a moment feeling the circulation through your torso. We'll do our side stretch. So bring your arms to shoulder level, palms toward the ceiling, hands above your shoulders. Pass the hands and turn them to clasp your hands and bring the arms by your ears, steepling the fingers and stretching out through your head and hands. Shoulders, shoulder blades, sitting bones down. And then staying facing forward, lean to the side. Push the front, you're loading away from down, out through the crown, out through the fingertips. And just feel that whole rib area expand as you deepen into your side stretch. Inhale back to the top, shoulders are down, switch the other hand to the front and bring your arms back next to your ears. And again, sitting bones toward the floor, crown high and no twist, just lean to your side. Push the foot you're leaning away from down for that extra rib opening. And don't forget to keep breathing. Shoulder blades where? Still toward your waist. Keep breathing and stretching. And then inhale upright, exhale, and release into mountain pose. Feel your spine, your ribs, your sides, everything a little bit more activated. And then really stretch your bones of your spine apart for our twists. So you may want space between them so they have room to turn. Arms at shoulder level, palms toward the ceiling, hands above your shoulders, but shoulders down. Clasp your elbows, bring the arms back by your ears. Spread your toes, stretch the spine apart, sitting bones down, crown high. Exhale, twist to either side. Keep the weight on both feet evenly and exhale over. Take a few breaths, just relaxing, lifting the sitting bones, keeping the arms by your ears and breathing. And then when you're ready, spreading your toes, keeping the weight on both feet, work your way up in the twist into that upper body only for your back there. Shoulders down, elbows back, chest high. Remember, no pressure in the low back, especially when you're twisting. Take a breath or two, relaxing. And on an inhalation, come upright, turning to the center. Switch your arms around. Again, bring your arms next to your ears. Stretch apart through the spine. Exhale, and turn to the other side. Another breath. And then as you exhale, pivot forward. Deepen as far as you'd like to go on this side. Notice if you're spreading your toes or gripping. If you're gripping your toes, stop. Spread your toes out and drop a little deeper. Lift your sitting bones, keep your arms by your ears 
And on an inhalation, stay in your twist. Come all the way up into that upper body one more time for your back bend. Once more, heart high, shoulders down, elbows down. Keep breathing. Feel what's going on in your body. And then inhale upright, exhale around to the center. Shoulders down, fingertips to the ceiling. Feel your whole body stretching as long as it can. And then swan dive forward, bring your arms shoulder level, palms toward the floor, pivot at your hips, bring your whole body parallel to the floor, stretch everything out, and then drop into ragdoll, just hip. Lift your sitting bones, pull in deeper with your hands behind your legs if you want to, and then bring the arms back to the center, bend your knees, tuck in your chin just slightly, and one more wind up from the bottom all the way to the top, Lift your heart, bring your shoulders back and down, and return to mountain pose. As you get back there, just take a moment, feel the circulation increase a little bit through your whole body. Bring your hands to your back, so heels of the palm at your lower shoulder blades, fingertips down towards your hips. Everything else still in mountain pose, and then rotate your elbows toward each other. And then lift your heart even further and look slightly up, but not too far. So don't lift the chin too much. You want to keep stretching through the whole back of your body, including your neck. So don't crunch the neck area. Press just gently into your lower back for a little support in that back bend. Go as deeply as you'd like. Keep the hips over your ankles. and Just press out through the top of your head, lifting your heart. Feel that whole body back bending. And then chin slightly towards your chest. Come on back up and again into mountain pose. Take a moment, lengthening through the spine, and we'll do our windmill. Just swing your arms one side to the other. So follow the hands around one side and follow it all the way to the opposite side as deeply as it wants to go. Feel that whole spine stretching, your whole body twisting, and keep opening those bones so that they can go even further when they're ready. Take a breath. Exhale, any tension. And then coming back to the center. Center over the feet, up through the crown. And let's work the shoulders. Backstroke and swimming, bringing that arm in close to your ear. And then the other one, one at a time, we're rotating that. Exhale any tightness in the shoulders or anywhere else. And then bring both hands up, stretch toward the ceiling, and come up on one toe. So this heel is lifted, the other side is flat, and that side is stretching as you bring that hand further up toward the ceiling. Exhale that one down, inhale the other one up. So remember, the heel is lifted on the one foot, the foot your side you're stretching, the foot stays down, and those fingertips will reach as high up as they want to go. Exhale it down, inhale the other side up. Just feel those ribs separate, that whole side lengthen. Exhale that one, and once more on the other side. And then both feet down, both arms up. Feel that whole stretch through the sides. Keep your arms next to your ears. Pivot at your hips. Push the sitting bones back and come parallel to the floor with your whole upper body. Everything straight. Elbows, knees, spine. Stretch it out. And drop into ragdoll once more. Let that whole lower back stretch as much as it wants. Again, you can pull in even deeper if you want with the hands back of your legs. Take a breath. Release back hands to the middle. Lift your toes, your fingers under the toes. Bend your knees as much as you need to. And put the fingers on the floor. And then straighten the knees as much as you can. Straighten your back as much as you can. Go real low pose, just getting a good stretch everywhere. And then lifting your toes, release those hands, tuck in your chin, and again, another wind up back to mountain pose. Shoulders back and down, and breathe. 
So again, feeling your spine even more activated, spreading your toes, relaxing your shoulders down. Take a moment and breathe. Exhaling tension. Find your balance foot, spread the toes out. We'll just do our gentle balance warm up. So remember, ankle, knee, hip, shoulder lined up, core active, supporting your low back. So make sure that your knee and toes aren't pointing out, but straight ahead, sink evenly into the ball of the foot area and heel so that four points of your foot are connected. And then when you're feeling grounded on that side, bring the other foot up a little or more toward your heart. And again, make sure you're not crossing that leg over. So roll it in at the top of the thigh. Keep that foot straight down. When you're stable there, circle your ankle both ways, making sure we stay flexible and don't get all stiff in our ankle joints. Straighten it out and bring the foot back to the floor. Take what worked, shift it to the other side, improve what you need to. Again, getting, making sure that that whole base of the foot area is connected. Ankle, knee, hip, shoulder, core active, shoulders back and down, and crown to the seat. Keep that spine supported as you sink into the new foot and bring the other one. And again, only as far as it wants to go today, making sure it doesn't cross over. And when you're stable, circle that in. Both ways, you know, working around. And again, when you're ready, flex and point it before you put it back down. Exhale any tension. And step the feet together. Bend your knees toward, not beyond your toes. Hands above your knees, just position, no support. So no pressure in your hands. And then we're circling those knees. You want to feel the feet working, the ankles working, the knees working, the hips working, the back doing its thing, and the shoulders relaxing, just circling the knees around as far as they want, but not beyond the toes. And then stop and go the other way with your circles. Just maximize or minimize. Remember, always personal practice. And then coming back to the center, we're going to find that balance point out in front and lift onto the ball of your foot, base of the toe area, lifting your heel just a little, finding your balance here. Take a moment, breathing, just focusing on getting some stability. And then roll back and forth, working that whole bottom of your foot. Toes, arches, ankles. And come back up, feet hip width apart into mountain pose. Feel your body a little bit more activated than that lower body. So let's keep going. Either cross your arms at your lower back or fingertips up between your shoulder blades, reverse prayer, if that works for your shoulders. Bend your knees again, not beyond your toes, just toward them, and circle through the hips. So that lower body is all working. Hips, lower back, and I'm just going in a gentle circle. And then stop and go the other way. Take a few breaths as you're going, just relaxing into that circle. Any tension, just let it go. And then releasing, coming back into your mountain pose. We'll do our pelvic tilts. So angle your toes out. So your knee and toes are still going the same direction. You're moving your whole leg, not just your feet. Bend your knees toward, not beyond your toes. As always, keep your shoulders above your toes with the hands above your knees. No pressure in the hands. Just keeping those shoulders aligned. Straighten out your spine, stretch it apart. And then inhale, drop your ribs, look to the front as you push the sitting bones, the hips way back in that pelvic tilt. So you're going into a nice back bend through the whole back of your body. And then tuck the sitting bones down and forward as you pull in your ribs and belly and look down between your toes. So a nice forward bend, C shape there, stretching the spine the opposite way. Inhaling, back bend, chest forward, ribs dropping, shoulder blades toward your waist. 
Exhale. Shoulder blades still toward your waist as you go into that forward bend. And just at your own pace, follow your breath, inhaling into the back bend, exhaling into the forward bend, as fast or slow as you need to do today. Remember, no pressure in those hands. Just let your shoulders stay above your toes. And the next time you're in the forward position, inhale back up and into mountain pose. As you get there, just take a moment feeling what's going on through your whole life. Arms at shoulder level, palms toward the ceiling, spread those fingers out, stretch to the sides and up through the crown, shoulders toward your waist. Big circles, just gently moving your arms around. Feel that circulation increase. Slowly make those circles smaller. And then stop, turn the palms down, spread the fingers again, and circle the other way. Again, reaching out through the fingers in the head, keep the shoulders down, keep stretching out, keep breathing, all the same things every time. And then smaller circles, and then stop. Stretch out through the fingertips, down with the shoulders, Keep the hips over your ankles, push one hand over to the side, stretching your ribs open. Inhale back to the center, exhale, stretch the other side. And again, back to the center. Turn the palms up, inhale, bringing the hands together overhead, look at your thumbs, pull them back as far into a back bend as you'd like. And exhale, all the way, hands to your heart, pivot at your hips, Dropping your rag doll, just dropping in and deeply as you want. Slide your hands up on your shins under your knees. Press the palms into your shins, elbows, knees, spine straight in our halfway up stretch. Exhale, drop down, rag doll. Palms together, inhaling. Again, bring the hands all the way to the ceiling and lift your heart, pulling your thumbs back. Exhaling, following all the way down, and dropping into ragdoll. Bending your knees, come all the way to the floor, into our child pose transition. Hands, palms up, forehead to the floor, shoulders relaxing down. Just take a breath and relax. Feel that whole spine stretching open. And then inhale, sitting up, slide off. And come into just a cross legged position. If that's uncomfortable, you can, of course, put your legs out in staff position, out in front of you, legs straight, hip width apart. And creatures of habit, switch your legs because we want to balance our body. And we always do the same thing habitually, so we want to switch it up from time to time. So we're going to work the neck just a little bit. Chin into that throat center, letting the back of your neck get a nice little stretch. Take a breath, keep the rest of your spine nice and straight. And as you relax there, just bring one hand at a time up to the back of your head. No pressure, just a little extra weight for that stretch. Take a breath, relaxing. And then releasing your hands, tip your chin back up and a little bit higher, stretching through the back of your neck, move your jaw around, stretch the front of your throat. And then again, upright and relax. Switch your legs because we want to balance things once more. Again, sitting bones behind you, spine nice and straight, shoulders back and down, and keep your hands on your knees or in your lap and tip your ear to one side. So both ears, or both shoulders stay down. The ear goes over to the one side and nothing pushes up. So just keep relaxing those shoulders down, feeling that stretch. And then the side you're tipping toward, bring that hand up to the outside of your head, adding again, only weight, not pressure, making that a little bit more of a stretch. If you love it, you can put your hand on the floor for even more stretch. It's up to you. Exhale any tension. And then bringing your hands back to your lap. 
Keep your head upright and switch your legs so we can go the other direction. Again, aligning, activating the core, stretching your spine apart. Tip the opposite ear over to the shoulder. Both shoulders down, exhaling tension, letting things just relax. Bring your hand to the outside of your head. And again, weight only, not pressure. Feel the stretch. Let it happen. Don't force it. Other hand down only if you want a little bit more. Take a breath. Exhaling and relaxing into it. And again, releasing the hands back to the center. Tip your head upright. Stretch your spine apart, base of the skull, base of the spine, stretching open for a twist. Bring your arms out, palms up, arms over your shoulders, stretch it up. And then as you exhale, turn in your twist toward one side, hand to the outside of that front knee, and the other hand right behind you on the floor. Stretch from the sitting bones up, and then the hip you're turning away from comes up a little as you turn your whole torso, hips, ribs, and shoulder into the twist. Take a breath, exhaling and deepening as much as you want to. And then on an inhalation, turn back to the center, raising your arms, palms out and down, back into your cross leg position and switching your legs one more time. Or of course, going to balance the body and twist the other way. So sitting bones behind you, spine stacked and supported and open, arms out, Palms up, hands above your shoulders. Keep the shoulder blades down, stretch through the head and the fingertips, exhaling, turn to the other side. <clears throat> Front hand to the knee, back hand right behind you, down on the floor. Inhale up through the whole spine, opening it, and let that hip come slightly up behind you as you turn deeper into your twist, if that works for you today. Take a breath, just relaxing. And then again, inhaling, turn back to the center, raising your arms, palms out and down and into your seated position. Lift your knees, bring your legs out to the front and over to the side end of the mat and into staff position. Activating that core, just slowly roll using that core for support onto your lower back, onto your lower ribs, onto your shoulder blades, and finally our shoulders and head. Coming into corpse position for our final relaxation. Let those shoulders sink down. Let the toes come toward each other and then just release everything. Lower body just relaxing completely. Deepen your breath as you exhale. Just let the shoulders sink. The whole body grow heavy. And just sink into that earth support beneath you, letting your body just release any tightness anywhere. Soften your jaw, relax your face, and just let your body go. As you breathe, just allow any thoughts of your body to release from your awareness, exhaling everything. And as you keep breathing, know that other thoughts will come to your mind. It's the job of your mind to produce thoughts. It's your choice whether you pay attention. At this moment, you can just let the thoughts drift away as easily as your breath. Deepen. Exhaling. Just relaxing, letting your body sink. Finding that peace deep within as your focus. Breathing, softening, sinking, relaxing, allowing just peace to surround you, to fill you, to breathe into you, and relax.
If you still have time to keep relaxing, take as much time as you have today. If it's time to get ready for the rest of your day, just begin drawing energy and awareness with the breath back to the moment, to the room, to your body. And begin moving your body gently, however it feels right for you today. And as you breathe and stretch more completely, whenever you're ready for your final yoga hug of appreciation, sitting bones toward your heels, press your back gently down as you bend your knees and draw your heels toward your hips. And then your knees up toward your heart. Wrap your arms around whatever feels good for you, just appreciating your body's work in yoga today and the work your body does for you every day. And when you're ready to release your hug and your appreciation for the moment, just bring your head and feet to the floor, roll to the side, and sit back up, getting ready for whatever's ahead for your day today. Thanks for joining me.